Hey. So. Thanks for coming over so quickly. I. I didn't mean to make a big deal. I'm. I'm. I really don't feel that bad. Yeah, I just have a cold. It. It's okay. Don't. Don't worry about it. But. Thank you for grabbing the medicine for me, though. Uh, I'll go and take it really quick. Mm. Yeah, I feel okay. My, my head just hurts. And my nose has been drippy. A bit of a cough. It's okay. It's not. It's not that bad. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't mind if you kept me company. I don't know if I'm really up to doing anything interesting, though. <laughs> you sure? Okay. You know, it's just the way life works, isn't it? As soon as you get a break, you get sick. At least that's how it works for me. I always get sick either after or on vacations, too. It's crazy that it happened before my Christmas vacation. Although technically it happened right at the beginning of my break from classes. is why we can't have nice things. It's alright. I have you. You're a nice thing. But, uh, wait. Stay over there. No, it- I just- I don't want to get you sick, too. No, don't talk like that. Come on. It- it sucks being sick. I don't want to- I don't want to be the reason that you're miserable. Okay? So stay on that side of the room, I'll stay on this side of the room, and we're good. Mm, come on. It's really not- it's not that bad. You can still talk to me from over there. You sure? I really don't have a say in this, do I? Ugh, whatever. I mean, I would- I would like to cuddle. I'm very cold. Hmm. I'll try not to cough in your ear or in your face either. That'll definitely get you sick. No, don't even make jokes like that. You know, it's almost like you're trying to get yourself sick. Yeah, why, why would you suggest kissing me while I'm sick unless you wanted to get sick too? I can't think of any reason why you would say that. <laughs> okay. <sighs> you're saying you just wanted to um, kiss me? Why? I... Why would you want to kiss me? I look horrible. I sound horrible. 
Yeah, I can't think of any good reason. <laughs> okay. Okay. I wasn't. Mm -hmm. That I. <sighs> it just. <sighs> okay. Okay. I get. I get. It. And you have reasons, okay? But I have my reasons. I don't want you to get sick. Because that would definitely get you sick. For sure. That's like a guarantee. I don't care how good your immune system is, okay? You're gonna get sick from that. Guaranteed. 100% guaranteed. Just... Okay, so no, you'll have to wait till I get better, okay, for now we will just cuddle, that's already, that's already risking it, by like a lot. If you get sick then we can be sick together. What does it accomplish if we're both sick together? If... If we're... If we're both, um, you know, sick together, then you can't... Like, um, then you can't, like, uh... You can't take care of me. Not that I... That's something that I would like you to do or anything. I just, you know, I mean, I guess I would, well, like that, I, I guess, but you, the point is you couldn't be able to do it if you were sick too, and then we'd just both be miserable at the exact same time, and what would that accomplish? Come on. You were think so you're saying you were thinking it would be cool to suffer together. But now that I mentioned that you're taking care of me thing you like that idea better. Okay, okay, as long as it doesn't involve you getting sick because of me, I'm good. I would hate to be the reason that you're sick. I think I've said that at least three times already, but that is how I feel. I know, I hate being sick. And... I imagine that you hate being sick, and, uh, so, in, in my mind, me getting you sick would me do it causing, inadvertently, yes, but still causing something that you hate to happen to you. That would be sad. Yeah, I know, it wouldn't be my fault. It's definitely not my fault when you're the one insisting on being this close to me and I'm very contagious I am very contagious you know okay okay as long as you know what you're signing up for I, I can't you can't really blame me can you when you text me randomly like two days from now to tell me that you're sick I'm not gonna be surprised <laughs> and then I can take care of you? Sure, sure. That sounds like a plan. If I'm... That'll probably be better by then, right? It's normally how it works. <coughs> I'm just happy that this happened. 
after my finals and not before. It is very convenient that I got sick right as the break began, even if it's a little mm, annoying. Hmm. You know, probably the worst thing that I, that the worst thing that I hate, yeah, that makes sense. You know, the worst thing that I hate about being sick is that you feel so bored, but you, you don't feel like doing anything because you're sick. And you want to do something to distract you from being sick. Because being sick, just sitting there, just laying there and being sick, it reminds you that you're sick. If you were doing something else, you wouldn't be thinking about it as much. <laughs> you know? Like, 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 if you're... If, if, if something else is going on and you, and you want to distract yourself from it, you know, you go and do something else. But, like, you can't because you're sick, you know, and, and, like, I, 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 you know what I mean? <laughs> mm. What do I normally do when I'm sick? Mm. Normally I just binge a random series I've never thought of watching before. Like what? Oh, I don't know. When I was younger, I'd always lay on the couch in like the living room and watch TV. And a lot of times my siblings would be over there because like free TV. <laughs> Because, you know, we were limited on screen time, but if you're sick, it's like having infinite TV time. And of course the other people would be like, ooh, infinite TV. <laughs> and I'd sit on the couch, and I'd lay on the couch, and my mom would bring me water, or Advil, or whatever, when I needed it. It was nice. Although also not nice, because I was sick. <laughs> And I normally still do that to mostly when I'm sick. Do the same thing. I just watch stuff. But I don't know. I never know what to watch anymore. I'm like, I have a lot of free time. I should watch something. I'm like, what? What am I gonna watch? I don't want to start something. That's a commitment. That's a big commitment. I don't know. If, if I start something, I want to know I'm going to finish it. I, I don't know if I'm going to finish it. What if I find something else I want to watch? What if I find something else I'm going to do? You know what I mean? I don't know. I'm just tired. Hmm. <laughs> what do you normally do when you're sick? <laughs> hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, that sounds nice. That's a good point, too. Yeah, sometimes... The stuff that we want to do when we're sick, but we still have to go to class or work or whatever. Yeah, I get that. That's very true. I remember... It was a year or two ago. I got sick like twice in a row. I don't know how, but I got sick. I got sick so much. My freshman year of college. I got sick after orientation, and I was sick the first week of school. And then, that, yeah, that was that year. My freshman year, I, uh, I was sick. Um, like for a whole month. Because I got sick and then I got better. And then I got sick again. It wasn't fun. But I had to go to class. Even though I was sick. It was not fun. It was very much not fun. I don't know why I was so sick that semester specifically. Probably because it was my first semester in college. Everything always goes wrong at the beginning of things, at least for me. The beginnings of things is always stressful. Like the beginning of this Christmas break, for example. <laughs> I get sick. That's okay. And even if the beginning of this coming next year is stressful, I know I have you. It makes it less stressful. I don't know if I can sleep cuz like I don't know I feel too bad to sleep <laughs> does that make sense like when you're sick you're tired so you want to sleep but you also you can't sleep cuz you're sick it's like a paradox of sorts and then if you eventually fall asleep you'll you'll wake up in the middle of the night because you're sick and then you won't be able to fall asleep again, and then when you do, you'll have really weird dreams. I know that's all too specific, but that's what happens to me. Are you ever, like, dreaming? Do you ever have this thing? This happens to me a lot when I'm sick. Like, you have a dream, but you're, like, awake. I don't know how to explain. Like... You're, you go to sleep, and then you wake up in the middle of the night, and you're having this dream still, even though you're, like, mostly awake, like, you're still, like, maybe slightly asleep, because you're dreaming, but you're, like, actually awake, and the scenario is still playing through your mind, even though you're awake, and the scenario is playing in your mind is keeping you from falling asleep, it's, like, the randomest stuff, too. So you're like half asleep, but you can't go to sleep fully because you're too distracted by the dream that you're for some reason having even though you're awake. 
I'm not talking nonsense, right? This is a thing that happens to other people too, right? <laughs> Oh, sorry. I try not to cough in your ear, but it's hard when your ear is like right there. <laughs> if I wake up randomly in the middle of the night and have a weird dream. Will you help me go back to sleep? Mm. <laughs> Depends on whether or not you're awake. That's a good point. I wouldn't wake you up, but you know. But if you're awake... I know how your sleep schedule is. Don't lie to me. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> I have this- I have a terrible sleep schedule too, you know? No judgments. I'm just so tired, you know. I'm gonna try to sleep. Do you need anything before I just like fall asleep on you or something? Okay, I was just making sure. Are you sure you don't need like water or something? What do you mean you should be asking me if I need water or something? You're supposed to be taking care of me. You are taking care of me. I'm just making sure I'm not being a burden, you know? I mean, I... Sometimes my cats will fall asleep on my lap and I will be annoyed because even though I love them and they're adorable and, and having them sleep on my lap is a blessing, I really wanted to get up and go to the bathroom and now I can't. You, you get what I mean? like that, I'm sure, right? Yeah. I just want to make sure I'm not being a burden. <coughs> it's not a burden. You sure? Okay, if you say so.
feels useless and is still not getting comfy. No, I'm not, I'm not saying, I'm not saying you're not comfy. <laughs> you're like the comfiest thing there is, you know, but like, and what I'm saying is that just I heard everywhere <laughs> you know I mean it's 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 better it's better because of the medicine yeah but still <laughs> <sighs> Trying to sleep. This gets boring after a while. Yeah, I guess I wasn't trying that long. Hmm. <coughs> Sorry.
<laughs> you know, <laughs> this isn't too bad, really, with you here. I just wish I could go to sleep. Thank you. I'll try that,
pretty. I didn't mean to cough in your ear again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 